Hi, I'm James Baez, the new Executive Director for the Connecticut Humane Society, and today I'm here with Asher to help talk a little bit about our pets and the impact of uh, coronavirus that we're experiencing here in Connecticut. Um, one, to start off, the coronavirus that, that is impacting people, um, the COVID-19, is not the same coronavirus that our pets have been able, getting over the last few years. That's usually been an intestinal virus and it is not related to uh, the respiratory that we're experiencing with people. Um, our pets are very important to us during every day of our life, but during times of crisis, our pets are, are kind of an emotional anchor for us and keep us stable. And there are things that we can do to try to make sure that our pets are gonna be safe and cared for during this time. Um, one, we need to make sure that our pets have a to-go disaster plan. If suddenly you have to have your pet boarded or taken care of by a friend, a relative, or a boarding facility, make sure your dogs or cats are up to date on vaccinations. Uh, the other thing that you can do is make sure that they have plenty of activities, and I think with more people staying at home right now, kids at home because of school or more um, working out of the house, take this time to teach your dog or cat a new trick. Uh, make sure that they're really going to be enjoying this time with you. Um, if you do want to support the Connecticut Humane Society or any of the animal shelters or rescues in your area, please don't visit if you're uh, ill. Stay home, just like we're being instructed to do. If we don't feel well, stay at home. Um, and then just stay connected to us on our website, cthumane.org, uh, for more information and, and what we're needing from the community. And I just want to thank you for your continued support. And I know dogs like Asher here and the other dogs and cats that we have at Connecticut Humane Society. I uh, hope that we uh, experience a very short time period during this time of crisis.